Hi, this is Raquel with Balloon Splendor talking about quick link, or, uh, quick link walls actually today. I have a publisher uh, template here of the cross link wall and a uh, X weave and a, and a cross weave wall basically, the two different walls here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and work with this one as an example. So let's say a client calls you up and they want a balloon wall and you're thinking that um, an X-weave wall would be the best for the application. So how do we figure out how to calculate everything? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of my ruler here. If you can't see your ruler, go to view and make sure rulers is clicked. It's just a simple little toggle. And I'm going to, for my scale, I'm going to use one inch to represent one foot. So first thing I'm going to do is grab my wall and move it over here to the edge of the paper and that's going to be uh, that's going to be where the wall is going to start. So right now this wall looks like it's going to go right about to 10 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink that up just a tad bit more to make it a little closer to right at 10 feet. Okay, close enough. So how big so if this looks good to you for 10 feet and actually this is about 8 feet tall so that's about reasonable maybe 8 feet would be here. So if you like how that looks, how dense that is, so you can work your, you know, whatever pattern you want into it. The question is, how big do you inflate the balloons? So if you just go ahead and click on one of these balloons here, and you look up here in the height and width, you can see that the height of the balloon, actually it would be the width because, anyway, it's, take the shorter one, obviously. It's going to be 0.39 inches. So what does that mean in real life? If this wall is 10 feet long and 1 inch equals 10 feet, what does 0.39 inches mean? So I go over here to my spreadsheet that I've created and if the reality is in the drawing, uh, I, I'm using this one down here, if the drawing is 1 inch and it represents 12 inches in reality, if the drawing is 0.39 inches, these balloons would be inflated to just over four and a half inches each. So that's a pretty small balloon. So how did I get to that? Okay, I learned in elementary school that when working with ratios, uh, it's basically fractions. To create an equality between fractions, you cross multiply and divide to solve. So A times D, cross multiplying, is going to equal B times C. That's the equality. So if you've got these two numbers and one of these numbers to solve for it, these are your formulas. Okay, did I just make your eyes cross? That's okay. I've actually got the formulas plugged into here. As long as you don't touch the yellow uh, highlighted cells, then you're going to be okay. So I've got I've got them solving both ways. If you know how big you need it in reality, you can plug in those numbers here. And if you know how big it is in the drawing, you plug in those numbers there and it'll automatically calculate it for you. Okay, I will be going back to this uh, so you will see how all this works. So let's say four and a half inches, you don't want to do that. You want to actually work with uh, the 12 inch linking balloons. So let's go ahead and make this uh, larger. Let's go ahead and see, uh, okay, let's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14, 15, because we got this one over here. So let's say we want to go 15 balloons across, if that looks a little bit bigger and more doable, let's see how big that is. So 0.56 inches, if we go over here and in the drawing it's 0.5, I'll go over here, 0.56 inches, what is that in, in reality? Well that would be about 6 and 3 quarters inch balloon. Okay, still too small. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this a little bit and we're going to grab this and we're going to even go bigger. Okay, let's go a little bit bigger than that. Let's go ahead and pick one of these balloons and what are we at? We're at 0.79 inches, let's see. 0.79 inches, nine and a half inch balloon. Okay, now we're starting to get into some decently sized balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in here a little bit and I can see my 10 inches is right about there. So I'm going to tighten this up just a hair 
Now the mouse is going to move really slow when you're working with big files. And I'm going to use my cursor just to pull it over a little bit, or my arrow keys actually. Okay, 10, okay, that's getting closer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 balloons. Yeah, we shrink it down a little bit more. We can go ahead and go with the 11 balloons across. So that tells me how many balloons it will take, even a little bit less. It will take 11 balloons across to make a 10 foot wide wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on a balloon again. And it's at 0.78 inches, so we go back over here. So 0.78 ends up being uh, somewhere between nine and a quarter and nine and a half inches. Uh, it's up to you if you want to round up or down. Just understand that that's going to affect the size. So if you wanted to actually pick a nine inch balloon, we could go up here and you want to make sure that these balloons are at point, oh, I think my, uh, let's change this so it's the same, it's 12, there we go. So if you actually wanted to make the balloons 9 inches, we inflate them to 9 inches, then in the drawing they would have to be a 0.75 inch balloon. So you do that by selecting it and now you can shrink them up, that's 0.77. 7.6, I'm watching that number right there. A Little bit more. Okay, there's 0.75, so now I can go ahead and grab it back up to the top here. And at 10 inches, we're right there. That's pretty good, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that's 11 balloons across at 9 inches. So what I'm gonna do here, so I'm not forgetting, so I'm going to go ahead and write myself a note, make that a little bit bigger so we can all see it. So at 9 inches, it takes 11 uh, balloons for 10 feet. Okay, so now I'm starting to get some notes here. So next time I open up my file, when I'm making a cross-link wall, I will know, without having to do the adjustments I just did, that it takes, uh, that a 9 inch balloon It'll take 11 of them to go across once. So let's say we want to do a wall that's only six feet tall. So it's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balloons. So seven times 11 is 77 balloons. It would take 77 uh, linking balloons to create a wall six by 10. See how the math works? If you want to go 10 by 10, uh, that should be 11 balloons again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so maybe my template isn't exactly square here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's, it's off by a little bit, 11. Okay, um, but again, for balloon work, it's close enough. You'll be ordering about the right number of balloons, and you'll be communicating to your customer what you want to do. All right, so that's how you can scale things. So let's say uh, you wanted to build a backdrop and you wanted to use just the little balloons. Okay, so you can go ahead and shrink it the other way. Actually, let's go ahead and do it on format. So this whole thing is at 16 inches. So let's say we wanted to build a backdrop that's only uh, eight feet wide. Okay, so that's eight feet wide, and one little tiny balloon, 0.31 inches, the drawing is 0.31, that's a, just under a four inch balloon, that's doable, if you wanted to go that small. So let's say you wanted to know how big this little circle is, the little, uh, the little five inch connector, that's at 0.16 inches. So the drawing, 0.16, that's inflated to just under two inches. So yeah, that's, that's perfectly doable. If you wanted to build like a small backdrop for somebody's party or, you know, work a name into it or whatever. So the other thing that I learned, I think I also mentioned this in the other video, is let's say you wanted to start 
coloring this in or making a pattern, you don't actually have to ungroup it. You can just click on it until the uh, the little symbols show up and you can go ahead and color that in. Okay, so you can and that, that should save some time because one of the risks of ungrouping it is heaven forbid you grab one and drag it across the page now your your drawing is come discombobulated. You can also hold the shift key down and still select several items too and you can color in several items at a time. Okay, so I also recommend that, oh I can't do that, I recommend when you use these files to, uh, I like the gray so I can see it, to save, like if I was going to go in and create something here, before I touch my template I would come in and I would do a file save as and save it or if you've got it in your quick access toolbar you can do a save as and then you'll save it as your quote for whoever and then you can start manipulating the file and that way you maintain the integrity of your original file. So this process that I went through works exactly the same for the cross weave again you can scale it to whatever you want and you just click on the balloon and you can see how big you need to inflate the balloon. So I really prefer this method over getting a recipe on how you know how big do I inflate the balloons if I want my wall to be so big and someone sends you the recipe. This way you've got endless numbers of recipes. You create your own. Um, you can scale the wall as big as you need it or as long as you need it or whatever and simply by clicking on the balloon and doing a little bit of math you can make your own formulas. This is Raquel Porter with Balloon Splendor.